no mother, I do not work there anymore. I was never a drug dealer. You're happy about nothing because I was never a drug dealer. Mother, I worked in a drug store. There's a big difference. Mother, I got to go. A vision of loveliness has appeared before me. Don't don't worry about it, okay? Just just imagine the way you feel in that cow gone bath. Like I just saw the human version of that. I gotta go. I'll pick up your foot powder. It was a lot easier for you. you got me fired from the drugstore. Okay. Well, don't get me fired from this job. I, I wanna I wanna I wanna make a go of it. it I, I'm approaching the point where it is hard to explain why I do not have a logical career path anymore. Okay. I'm hanging up. I'm hanging up, Mother. You... She always has to hang up first. I do apologize. I do not mean to be taking personal phone calls. Please don't tell my boss. It's my first day. And I'll... Um, Ma'am, I, can I just say right up front, I don't even know why you're here. But if, if no one has told you today, you are divinely beautiful. Can... Can I touch you? But that's, that's never mind. No, that's forward. I can't. I can't ask you that. Mother said, "Don't ask ladies that anymore." She said, I, "I'm not to ask if I can touch women." I, I I wasn't aware that this was going to be construed as a a bad a bad thing. But uh, well, may I shake your hand? That's kind of different. I mean, that's still socially acceptable. I think. But then we had that pandemic, and then you couldn't touch people. That was tough. That was tough. I had no excuse to bump into anybody. And everybody was wearing a mask, so you couldn't even see what people look like. Trust me, you'd be fooled by that mask. So may I may I may I shake your hand? You you could you could shake my hand. You could touch me. You could do that. You could lightly caress my hand. I'm I'm sitting down and I got a desk in front of me, so it will be it will appear to be fine. No. A fist bump? Oh, well. I suppose. That's kind of an anticlimactic meeting, but I guess I'll have to take what I can get. So, ma'am, yes, you are divinely just, like, objectively beautiful. I mean, like, if I even look at you, well, without my glasses on, you look kind of fuzzy, but I'll put my glasses back on you. You're very beautiful. You're, you're quite a quite lovely young lady. If I do say so myself, I think that you are... Yes, ma'am, I'm sorry. That's I've gone on too long. I don't want to go to another sexual harassment seminar. I've already been to four this year. and It was all for different jobs, but I ended up with the same instructor at every single one. It was this uptight man named Howard, and he, he sniffs a lot like a little bunny rabbit when he talks. He's just always going... <laughs> Like he's smelling something. I don't know if it's a nervous tick or what it is, but I have to sit through a four-hour seminar with him every time I make an inappropriate comment to a lady, and I have to go sit sit through his class. And I don't want to do that anymore. So I, I've got to learn to put the brakes on before I reach that point in a conversation. It's just for some reason I just don't ever know what point that is, and I'm trying to get a hold of it. So. How are you today? Are you having a wonderful day? You you look like you should be smiling at the moment, like you, because I think if you smiled, you'd look so pretty. I mean, you're already pretty, but that make you that'd be just like the icing on the cake. And yes, ma'am, I I we do. Yes, of course. This welcome to comfy beds. Here at Comfy Beds, we provide supreme service and quality beds. We give you comfy beds, because that's what we do here. We sell mattresses, and we even sell these things called box springs. Now, you may not be familiar with what a box spring is. That is actually the wooden frame work that goes under the mattress if you so desire it. Now, sometimes people don't want the box spring. And what a lot of people don't know is a box spring is very beneficial. Well, the reasons that it is beneficial would be that, um, well, it's firm, first of all. When they say that a firm 
mattress is good for your bag. So it just stands to reason that if you put it on top of a firm surface, that it's going to be even firmer because the box grip spring, the box spring is firm. So that's 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 a benefit, and um, it's a benefit because it's got it has the name the word spring in the title and spring is a beautiful time of year and we all love spring i think i would be able to speak for everyone to say that we do well those with allergies can take pills and enjoy it too so i don't see why that would deter anyone from enjoying spring i think we should all enjoy spring i mean how can you not and so the box spring has the word spring in the title you see, and that makes it even better. That makes the mattress even more enjoyable to put it on top of something that is associated with the best season of the year. So does, did I explain it in a way that you could understand? I can go back over it. Did you, did you follow that? I, I try not to get too technical as to the benefits of the box spring. Um, yeah, well, I'd be happy to go through that with you. Um, now, I'm not allowed to leave this desk, so did Andre walk you around and show you the mattresses that we have available today? He did, okay. That's, yes. Oh, yes, he's a fine young man, isn't he? He's all muscular and struts around here like he's a, like a rooster or something. I'm just so proud of himself because he's so handsome and he has, all his hair is cut properly and you know, he doesn't have to go to the Great Clips, and he probably goes to those fancy places where they give you wine while they cut your hair. I don't appreciate it anywhere in his designer clothing that I bet he bought new. Thinks he's hot stuff, anyway. So the ladies, you know, they get to talk to him, and then by the time they get back here to me, it's like, oh, you know, I'm like the discount bin version of Andre over there. We have the same shirt on, but for some reason, it just does not look the same on me. It doesn't fall on me like it does on him. I'm not sure what that's about. Well, yes, ma'am, he is very muscular, right? Like I say, you know, he works out all the time because he's clearly very vain. I mean, all he cares about is his looks. You have to look at the substance of the person. When you meet somebody like him, you get all, you know, you swoon and you just get all upset at how romantic he is and how he makes you feel all warm and fluttery inside and you have to forget that the substance of a person matters a whole lot more than the outside package. I mean, why do people get so hung up on looks anyway? I don't get hung up on looks. I think all women are beautiful. I do. I believe that they all have their own beauty and, uh, and, I, and I certainly would welcome you know, being accompanied by any lovely lady on a date or just to go walk around the flea market on Saturdays, that'd be nice, or go to the farmer's market. Now, Mother would go with us to the farmer's market. Do you like the farmer's market? Oh, um, well, are you in a hurry? Because you seem to be a little twitchy. You p please feel free to have a seat there. Just get comfortable. Just you can set your purse down and just relax a little bit. You just need to calm down a little bit. Don't be in such a rush. So, like I was saying, you know, if we were to go to the farmers market, unfortunately, um, mother would want to go. Would that be a problem for you? I'm speaking in a hypothetical. I'm not saying that you and I would go on a date. Of course, if we did, I'd be more than pleased to have you go with me. Um, I would be happy to clear out a spot in the El Camino for you. We could make Mother ride in the back. Um, I don't think she would mind too much. I have, um, I've got some bungee cords back there. We could probably, and some ratchet straps, we could probably tie her down pretty good. And she, she wouldn't, I don't know if that would get on I-40. She might fly out because you have to go fast on I-40 or you'll get run over by a semi-truck. I almost did one day. It was terrifying. I avoided that road for two years after that. I almost got flattened by a Mack truck. 
It was very unfortunate. I survived. And, uh, yeah, good thing I had a clean pair of underwear in the glove compartment like Mother always said. She said, Carl, now you keep that clean underwear in the glove compartment. You don't ever know when you're going to get into an accident. Well, I didn't literally get in an accident, but I had one. You know what I mean? I don't want to get too technical. That I don't want to have to explain what that means because it's just it's, it's vulgar and inappropriate. And I don't feel that that's a nice thing to talk to a lady about. So I'm going to stop right there. So, mother loves going to the farmer's market. She's not so fond of the flea market because she had a crush on the guy there that sells the Beanie Babies at a reasonable price. And she had a crush on him and, and he told her that he was not interested in her because of her hairdo. He said her hairdo was dated and she smelled like prunes and it hurt her feelings really bad and now she won't go to the she won't go to the flea market at all. So now if I want to go to the flea market, I end up having to go by myself, which is sad, and I just walk around the flea market by myself looking for something to buy that's under $7 because usually by the end of the week, that's all I got anyway. And uh, I have to avoid the Beanie Baby booth because Mother said, don't you ever buy anything from that man. He's mean. So I can't buy any more Beanie Babies and have to hide the ones I've got because it upsets her to even see them. Even the cute little bears, she just can't stand it. She starts crying. I can't stand to see my mother cry. It just tears me up. So, um, uh, so you, 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 are you, are you in the market? Are you in the market? There's cat hair on my table. Are you in the market for a mattress, perchance? Why, well, there's no need to get flipping about it. I mean, I, I realize that you're in a mattress store. I, yes, ma'am, I know that. I mean, I work here. I know where we are. With all due respect, young lady, I don't want you to think that I'm talking down to you. And I would not want you to get that impression. So, if you're looking for a mattress, well, you have come to the, cor to the correct place because the comfy beds, comfy beds, we do comfy beds here. We have comfy beds, comfy beds. And I know because I fell asleep on one when I came in for my interview. I can't believe I still got the job. I came in for the interview and the lady that was going to interview me was running late. And I decided to test out one of those Simmons beauty rests over there. And I can personally attest to the fact that it sleeps really well because I fell asleep on it. She had to come roust me like I had to be awoken by this lady. And, and I was all confused. I woke up. I had no idea where I was or why this lady was touching me. And I just shouted out, restraint in order. And then I don't even know why I said it, but it was... It startled her a good bit, and it didn't help the other customers around me neither. And then nobody knew what was going on. Like, what's wrong with this person? But fortunately, she didn't hold it against me. She she gave me a minute to kind of wake up and gather myself. And then we went back and we had an interview, and I got the job. I can't believe I got this job. I'm not qualified for it at all. I have no experience. Don't tell her that. She may be under the impression that I do. She might have a reason to think that I've worked in mattress stores for years. I might have put that on my resume with a number that's not real to a store that doesn't exist. See, I got smart. You know what I, you know what I did? I put down that I worked at Mattress Warehouse. The funny thing about that is there's one on, like, every corner in the United States. There are 40 bajillion of them here for some reason. I heard it's money laundering. And I just put down, oh, you know, I worked at the mattress warehouse, and I just made up an address at 123 Main Street. And the number was 555-1234. And, you know, maybe it'll take her a while to check it. But there are so many mattress stores. She's going to be hunting that thing for a long time. Cause I'll go. Oh, oh! I don't. I didn't mean that one. I meant. I meant the one over on Clark Boulevard. You know, I just pull these names out of thin air. And chances are there are at least twelve mattress warehouse stores on Clark Boulevard. <laughs> I, I, I'm a bit of a genius, if I do say so myself. I normally I would have a collar right here that I would sh show you. I would pop it for you. They don't allow me to wear collared shirts. They said I have to wear the t-shirt that advertises Temper Sealy. 
Temper Sealy. That's the name of a mattress company. Now, I don't know if you're aware, but there are different companies that make mattresses. It's not just, you don't just go to the mattress factory and get a mattress from the Mac mattress company, like Mattress Incorporated. There are actually different companies that make mattresses. Can you believe that? I was surprised myself. I had no idea. Mother always bought my mattresses from this guy in the back of his van. And they never had a name on them, but they always had suspicious stains on them. Mother said it was part of the pattern and the fabric on the mattress, but I don't know. I said, Mother, why is it then? There's just this enormous yellow print in the middle of the mattress. She said, now don't you question the artist's integrity that designed that print. So I, I shut my mouth because she, she said that I was questioning somebody's artistic vision when they were designing that pattern for that mattress. And uh, I, felt, I felt really bad about that. But uh, let me tell you about some of the different options we have for our mattresses. Now we do have the uh, Temper Sealy. I have to keep looking at it because I forget. Temper Sealy, which it used to be, I believe, Temper Pedic was a company and Sealy was a company apparently at some point they got married because now it's Temper Sealy I missed that all together I don't even know when that happened I must have been asleep maybe it was during the pandemic because for two years there I don't remember diddly squat about anything I remember hearing a lot about Tiger King and then we ran out of toilet paper and after that it was just kind of a blur for about a year I, I, I don't know what happened 20 to last year I don't know after we ran out of toilet paper, I just kind of lost track of everything because nothing made sense after that. Everything that happened just seemed really bizarre and like, like I'm in some kind of bizarro world or like, what is going on? Anyway, so we do have Temper Sealy. We have uh, Simmons. We have some Simmons mattresses. We have a wide variety of memory foam mattresses. Have you ever tried a memory foam mattress? Well, I personally, I have not tried one. I just wonder if somebody gets killed on a memory foam mattress, is that mattress just traumatized after that? Because it's memory foam. Like, how does memory foam work? I don't even know. Does it, does it remember everything that happens on it? Because if so, I hope my mattress is not memory foam. <sighs> Sorry. Anyway, that doesn't matter. We have we have some different textures and, and types of materials in our mattresses. Now, back back in the past, all you could get was mattresses with cotton ticking in them, and ta co cotton ticking. And, uh, and like you know, and it was made out of cotton, and it was lumpy, and you'd have to fluff it up, and you know, change out the stuff in it and whatnot. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. No, you just do like everybody else when you're done with your mattress. Throw it out on the side of the road. I always wonder when I see a mattress on the side of the road, how did they pick that spot to put the mattress there? How did? Are you just driving down the road and you just can't stand that mattress? Well, you, I can't go one more mile with this mattress, and you just fling it out. How do people decide where to dump a mattress? I, I don't know. Mother makes me burn ours in the backyard, and then we get a ticket from the city. But she insists that that's the best way to do it. And then I have to pay the ticket because we can't, we can't burn mattresses in the city. They don't allow it in Camden. But I, you can't tell Mother anything. Look look here. I'm going to show you some materials. This is a good... Uh, simulation of memory foam right here feel, feel that you see you see how it kind of springs back and you push it down and it mashes down but it comes back they say that that makes it good to sleep on um i don't know about it um i will say that we do have some that are less expensive now if you get into temper sealy um, they're expensive probably because they provided us with all these shirts. They're trying to make up the money they spent on the shirts so they have to charge more for their mattresses. That's kind of how I see it. I figured that's what it is because they're paying for all these because everybody got one. Andre got one. I got one. The other salespeople got one. And 
I think even the janitor's wearing one. We all get a Temper Sealy shirt, and look, it's fancy, because you've got a whole other color of cloth. That's fancy. That's high dollar. And look, right here, right at the neck, it's the same color as this. And then you've got the blue. I mean, that's, that's practically like high dollar Hot co coacher, hot coochie, hot coacher, hot co hot co what do they call that? Hot couture. Is that Spanish? What does that mean? Hot, hot couture, hot couture. I'm gonna get caught up in my languages. You will have to excuse me. I do speak a few languages, and I know that that's Spanish. Hot couture. Hot would mean um, hotel. I think is how you say hotel. Hotel, couture, coat, coat, your, your coat at the hotel. It's like a coat check person, the coat check girl. And you know, they dress very stylishly, so that makes sense that you would call it haute couture. That makes sense to me. That sounds good. They got to make up for the cost of these shirts because I know they're not cheap. And I don't even have to give it back. They said I could keep it. That, I thought that was very generous. Of course, I have to wear it to work every day. So we do have our memory foam right here. I kind of like just mashing on it. So are you interested in that? Well, um, if not, then I've got this too. Right, look at this. Look at these coils. You see these coils? Look at those coils. Don't they look nice? Feel the, feel the coils. Stroke my coil. Isn't that something? Feel how firm it is. Nice. Kind of hard, isn't it? Oops. Well, you don't have to. I mean, you don't have to touch it. We have beds that have these coils in them. Um, who does those? I think Sealy does them. No, not Sealy. Simmons does them. They have the coated coils. See, it's not naked coils. They coat them with this satin, this satiny material right here. They coat them with that. And then you have these pockets. And they have these things in them that look like hair scrunchies, but they're not. They're just balled up pieces of satin, so that makes it even extra special. You've got balled up satin in there. These mattresses are so nice. They come with satin that you don't even use for anything. I mean, that's, that's, that's rich living right there. And then we have these little pieces that look like hair clips. And they're kind of hard, but I hear you get used to sleeping on them. But I don't know about that. But you get these little pieces of, of satin, and then you got the long coils there. They just come around like a horseshoe, like this, you see. And these are how the sections of the mattress are made. So would you be interested in sleeping on some nice long pieces like that? How would you like to get in on top of that? No? Well, I, I, you know, a lot of people don't like, you know, picky customers like you. Personally, I do. I, I like a customer that has no idea what they want because that way I can educate them and I can show them what they want because they come in here and they don't know what they want. So I have to show, I'm not saying you don't know anything. I'm saying you don't know what you want, which is fine. That's totally fine. Now, how about this? How about this right here? Now, here's a good mattress for you. You see how firm that is? This is an example of a, of a mattress right here. And you see how firm it is? That'd be so good for your back. You know, I mean, it would be basically like sleeping on the floor. And if a firm surface is good for your back, you could just sleep on the floor. But you don't have to if you if you buy one of our mattresses. You can spend a couple thousand dollars and sleep on something that's like the floor, but not the floor. Because it's going to be on top of a box spring. Remember the thing I said about the box spring, how good that is. That makes it just twice as great. So... Are you interested in a nice firm? Feel, feel how firm that is. Oh, I know. Isn't it nice? That's firm. That is so. That is so firm. It's got a little bit of give to it, though. If you see, see what it does. Look at that. 
Well, the good thing about that is if you ever have to move the mattress, it's going to make it really floppy. And we took the handles off the mattress so you have nothing to hold on to. So when you move your mattress, you get the experience of wrestling the world's largest flounder. Like you, you get to see what it will be like to go hand, just go toe to toe with a flounder bigger than you. And then you get to try to move it. And so then you find out what you're really made of, like how much strength you've got. I like to see Andre try to move one of those and see how good he is walking around here in his designer jeans. Must be nice to be able to afford Jordash. I am not jealous. I, why would I be jealous of him? He's got nothing to be jealous of. Look at his fancy New Balance shoes. They don't even have scuffs on them yet. He's got a pair to match everything. He's got a whole wardrobe, a whole closet full of New Balance. Well, la de da. Still wearing mine from Walmart. But anyway. Now, we, we do have another option, and I don't know how you're going to feel about it. Now, when I show you the comparison, don't be offended, because I don't mean for it to be offensive. Um, right here. Now, this is going to look like a roll of toilet paper, because it is. Um, don't be offended, though. I don't mean it ugly, but look. This is from Country Soft. The, the company that makes this is called Country Soft. Country Soft. I don't know how soft things are in the country or they, how they came up with the name Country Soft. This roll of toilet paper is made by Country Soft. I don't know why that perplexes me. It just does. The only soft thing in the country is like a cow patty that's fresh. Other than that, I don't know. But we won't get bogged down in the details now. This, this, this right here is a good example of how something can be a little soft but firm at the same time. Look at that. Let me grab my cylinder. Feel that. It's soft but firm. And you see what I'm saying? Soft but firm now. This right here. And this was one that I, I found this in the bathroom. And uh, I thought this would be a perfect example of what you get with Temper Sealy. Because with Temper Sealy, it's soft. But it still has a layer of firmness to it. And, and they, see, I'm new here, so they don't give me any actual examples to show people. Um, so I just took my own initiative and found things around here that kind of, you know, represented the products. So it's soft, but not really. Kind of like cheap toilet paper. It's not really all that great. But for a mattress, it's wonderful because it's a little soft, but not really. It's hard, but not. It's like it's both, but I don't know how. That's that science. That's that where they have these scientists that work on these mattresses. You see them in the commercials for the mattress companies. They got on lab coats and glasses and they're inspecting things, you know, looking in a microscope and measuring and they're pouring chemicals for i don't know what that has to do with mattresses they're pouring chemicals and they're talking to one another and at least one of them's got a clipboard and you know they're smart when they got the clipboard so they know what they're doing that's high that's high science that's like cutting edge technology right there and that's what you need to do see i personally think the best one for you is going to be the temper sealy we could set you up with a Temper Sealy uh, BTK, and uh, I think that would be the best thing for you. Now, let me see. I want to look and see if I have any information on you. Now, now, have you bought anything here before? Have you ever been in here? Oh, right. That's that's good for me because uh, I get experience putting stuff down. Can I have your last name? Oh, and we are not going to send promotional materials to you or give your name out or do it on mailing lists or anything. We don't do that here at Comfy Beds. We don't do that at Comfy Beds. They may do that at the competitors, but not here. Cause we don't believe in that. Plus, we're lazy and we don't feel like bothering with it. 
and periodically we have to delete all our files and shred a whole bunch of papers from what I've heard. We may have to be ready to jump up and shred things very quickly. Um, I'm not really sure if that has something to do with a fire or, you know, the risk of one, but I was told sometimes we have to shred documents quickly. So your last name. You're going to see all the information pop up on that little screen. Now, that's just a computer monitor. Don't be afraid of it. It won't hurt you. And your first name. Oh, that is a lovely name. I, I love that name. Now, imagine saying that and then saying and Carl after that because I think they sound really nice together. <laughs> they do they just they fit my name and your name they just fit together like that right there I think it's delightful all right now your address oh I know where that is you live over there near the pumping munch don't you yeah I go by there all the time get coffee well that is very nice do you live in that little yellow house because I, I know exactly where that is. Okay. And if I may have your phone number. What do you mean you don't have a phone? I'm pretty sure you do. You look like the type that has two phones. I don't understand why some people have two phones. What are you up to? Are you like Walter White? So you don't have a phone number you want to put in here? Because I think it'd be really great if I had a phone number for you. I mean, to complete your record, not because I'm going to, like, you know, write it down on a piece of paper and call it later and then hang up and hope that you don't have caller ID. No, well, I can't put it down if you won't give it to me. It makes me sad, but let me go ahead and save what I've got. All right, so we have a, well, let's see, now we have a nice little profile for you here. And may I have your age? You can just give me a range. We're talking 18 to 36, 37 to 49. Okay. So you're not over 50. Not that I think you are. I mean, you look much younger than that. You, you look like you could easily pass for 47. Oh dear, I got that one way wrong. I do apologize. It's, it's the lighting in here and my glasses are not... They came from a man that sold them to my mother in an alley. said, you can't listen to me because I, I, I don't know any better. You definitely don't look 47 now that I like li really look at you. I do apologize. I got that one wrong. That was my fault. Plus, you look a little tired. Are you not sleeping well? Well, maybe this new mattress will help. Oh yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You go. You go ahead. Um, no, ma'am. You don't have to buy anything today. Now, would you be interested in making an appointment to come back to see a mattress specialist? We actually have mattress specialists. I myself aspire to become a mattress specialist one of these days. Um, not really sure what that is, but it sounds like something that I should be doing with my life. I think if I could become a mattress specialist, Mother would be proud of me, finally. Um, I think that she would see that as, as really nice. I was working in a drug store, but she was telling everybody I had become a drug dealer. And that didn't go over too well with the ladies' auxiliary. They, uh, they won't let me come to their church anymore. And... I'm not allowed to buy lemonade at their at their fundraisers anymore. I'm not sure what the significance of that is, but I can't do it. So I'm very sad. My mother gave me a cup. I've been drinking my, my lemon water out of here. Mother says I need to drink water with fruit squeezed into it. She said it will help build up my immune system. So what she does... She puts water in here and she squeezes a lemon into it. And uh, and it just, personally, I think it tastes terrible. But she said, well, if it tastes bad, that means it's good for you. You should drink things that taste terrible. Because those are the healthy things. I don't follow her philosophy, but she gave me this cup. 
I'm not quite sure how to interpret it. It says, my boss thinks I'm kind of a big deal. I don't know if she's saying she's my boss. I don't really appreciate that. I don't really see where she can take that, that tack with me, okay? Yes. My mother lives with me in her house, and I don't really appreciate the tone she takes with me sometimes. But Mother's Day is coming up. Are you, uh, are you ready for Mother's Day? Are you going to do something special for your mother? Are you a mother? Would you like to be? I'm sorry, that's not, that's too far. But let's just start by going to the farmer's market and see where we go from there. <laughs> would you be interested in going to the farmer's market with me and mother? I think it would be a delightful day. I am, I am, a, I am a charming company. I, I am a good, uh, conversationalist i can conversate so good i can conversate your socks off i mean i can just i can conversate all day and we could we could uh we could do that we could talk we can look at uh the, the fruits and vegetables they got flowers out and other plants and you could help me keep track of mother i try to put her on one of those kid leashes but sometimes she grabs it and she gnaws through it and then she runs off and then I have to go chase her through the parking lot and and she almost got hit by uh, it was a grand caravan the other day came through there and almost almost took her out that would have been terrible 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 so uh, one more thing I forgot to put into your profile ma'am may I have your husband's name you're not married. Well, I'm just, uh, single. Single. Save that. So you are sing. Well, you have a partner. Like for a square dance or a work partner? Oh, a romantic partner. Well, I don't see a ring, so maybe it's not as serious. Uh, maybe I should just make sure you remember me. You will remember me. Well, I'm, again, I want to make sure you know my name is Carl. And I'm new here, but I plan to be here for a very long time. I'm going to plant my roots here. And I'm going to have a business. I'm going to be a career man. I'm going to have a stable job. And I'm going to be just the best mattress man that ever lived. That's going to be me. And then my mother will be proud. You know, Mother's Day is coming up. And I wanted to show you. I've been showing this to everybody to see what they thought. I got her a card. And I thought it was a Mother's Day card. But now I'm, I don't know that it is. Look. Look at it. We have these plants, right? And they're growing in these cans. Because, see, you can start plants in one container. And then transfer it elsewhere. Have you ever seen that? It's pretty complicated. But you start them in one thing. And then you move them to another thing. Well this looks like what mother would do. She was growing these strange little plants. And the police were very curious about them. And she had them in these little containers. And she ran and hid them really fast. Before they came in the house. And I thought well. Must be that one of the one of the officers must have an allergy, and she wants to make sure to keep it away from him. So that was actually very thoughtful of her to do that. And uh, she was so concerned about his allergies that when he asked her if she had any of uh, uh, the plants, she said, "No, sir." She was so worried she didn't even want to take a chance on him finding them. She said, "You do not need to search this house," and he didn't because he didn't have a warrant. I don't quite know what a warrant is, but whatever it is, he didn't have one. I thought this was a Mother's Day card. I picked this up at the flea market. Literally, somebody had dropped it on the ground, and I picked it up, and I couldn't find a rightful owner, so I just kept it. It says, thank you for helping me grow. That sounds a little self-centered, I know, because you're not supposed to make Mother's Day about you. Mother is always quick to remind me. Now, Carl, Mother's Day is about me. It's not about you. If I'm the reason she's a mother, well, my father had something to do with it, I reckon. But I'm the reason she's not, I'm here. That makes her a mother. A mother. 
thank you for helping me grow. And then on the inside it says, thank you for all the support. And my mother does not support me, okay? I, I am an independent man, like I say. She lives with me in her house. I don't need her help. So, but I thought since I found this on the ground, it was basically free and it would be a good Mother's Day card and it would make her feel good. Thank you for all the support so she'd feel like she was doing something. Um, really, all she ever does is go to bingo and sleep on the couch most days. So she's not doing a whole lot. I keep getting on to her to mow that backyard, but she said with her new hip, she can't do it. It's always an excuse. Always an excuse. Do you think this is an acceptable Mother's Day card? Well, I appreciate that. I, I, if I write Happy Mother's Day in it, that'll make it a Mother's Day card, won't it? That's what I thought. And then I was at the community center about a week ago and I went there because I thought the instructor was very pretty and I had seen her in the grocery store and I followed her and she went to the grocery she went to the community center from the grocery store and I found out that she does a painting class for seniors at the grocery store or at the, at the, the community center and when I first heard that I thought she meant seniors in high school so I ran home really fast and I changed clothes and I put on my youthful attire trying to look like a senior in high school. I think I could pass for a senior in high school. And I put on my youthful attire and I ran right back to the community center and she was getting set up for a painting class. And I got a seat right up front. And then all these old people came shuffling in there and I said, they're in the wrong room. This is for the seniors. And she goes, well, they are seniors. And I thought, how many times have they failed? I, how are they seniors? I don't, un I was so confused. And I found out apparently there's this term, I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called senior citizens. It means old people. I, I was not aware. I thought seniors were 12th graders in high school. I, so I felt kind of silly in my, you know, my, I had on my new kids on the block sweatshirt and my, my neon, you know, checker print hat. Like I was looking every bit 1987. I really was. But fortunately, she's such a sweet lady. She didn't say anything about it. She, she complimented my shirt. She said, yeah, I, I'm familiar with that group. And then I, I thought that was very sweet. So she was telling us step by step what we were going to paint. And she said, we're going to paint a sunset with palm trees, like a palm tree hanging over the sunset, like we're at the beach, you know, because all beaches have palm trees. Yes, they do. All beaches have palm trees. I, well, I don't know who told you that, but I'll tell you, I, the reason I'm here, I, I do believe that I was called by God to educate people. I'm on a journey of education, and, and I am put into, a, you know, the Lord puts people in my path that need education, and, and I think that's why you came in here today. I, I, you think you came in here to look at mattresses, but that's not why you're here. The Lord is telling me now that you were put here because you need to be educated on beaches, Beaches, not the B word. That's ugly. I wouldn't say that. You see, if you look at any book, any I mean, if you just look at any children's book, you will realize that all beaches have palm trees on them. They all do. You're not going to find a beach without palm trees. And that is why when we were doing a painting, you had to put a palm tree in it because it's required if you do a painting it on the beach. You've got to put a palm tree usually over on the side of the painting. There's going to be a palm tree hanging down. So she started painting her thing, and she was, we had all our paints, and they were all labeled. And she said, okay, now use this paint. We're going to do this part, and then we're going to do this section. And uh, mine didn't turn out so good. I don't really know what happened. Um, at the beginning of the class, she told us all to close our eyes and meditate and open our minds up so we could be fully relaxed for the painting. I think I opened mine a little bit too far and then something fell out because 
it, it just for some reason my painting was not it didn't look like everybody else everybody else basically looked like hers but mine I've got it here because I want to I want to wrap it in some paper and I noticed that some of the uh, the temper Sealy brochures are very shiny and I'm going to <coughs> borrow some and I'm gonna wrap them and make it and use it as wrapping paper my my painting um well it, it didn't turn out so well um and i just want your honest opinion now i'm gonna show you what i ended up with and i want you to tell me if this will make a good mother's day present um it's not exactly what you think it was supposed to be a beach scene somehow i ended up with this i don't know i don't know what happened um i i guess when i opened my mind an angry camel fell out of it. I don't really know why I have this, but this is what I ended up with. And and the nice, pretty lady came over and she looked at it and she said, oh, well, isn't that something? And I'm not really sure what she meant by that. Is this something? She said, well, isn't that something? Well, I can give her that. Um... So I don't have a frame for it or anything, but I could wrap it in the Temper Sealy brochures and they're very professional looking. Do you think this would make it an attractive addition to anyone's decor? Um, my mother's decor, I would say, would be Nouveau Harriet Carter. Do you think this would fit in with that? Um... Well, if you don't like it, I do have another option. I can give her this. I could give it to you. Would you Would you think this would look pretty in your parlor? Oh, I'll, okay. I'll give I'll give it to my mother. That's very sweet of you to say that I should do that. I I certainly will. You seem like a very selfless person. I like that. I I've been looking for a woman who will just you know completely give herself up. Um, that would be nice. I don't mean let yourself go, because you appear to be in very nice shape, and I'd sure hate to see you lose that. Um, but, you know, a selfless woman would be so nice to find, and I've not been able to find that. And, uh, I would like to find a woman that I can shape and mold and what she, you know, help her see her fullest potential and see if you and I were on a date, it would give me opportunities to explain all kinds of things to you. And I, I would dearly love to do that. I think that would be wonderful. It's just something to think about. Now, you don't have to say yes at this point. I've learned that about salesmen. I've learned that they say that a lot. Now, you don't have to answer yet. Don't, you know, don't have to give me an answer at this point. Just think about it. Think about it. I do have one other thing. I have this doll. You can't really see her face. There. I think she looks like Tammy Wynette. I found this in a ditch on the way to the grocery store. And I cleaned it up. Look, her dress is... Look, you can't really see anything under there. So Mother will like it. She doesn't like dolls that show their butts. She says it's vulgar. Well, this one apparently doesn't have a butt. She's just made out of plastic. She's a head and arms. And there's literally nothing else to her. Only thing is, Mother doesn't like decor like this. She calls it a dust catcher. I don't want something I've got to dust. But I think it's cute, and she likes Tammy Wynette. So what do you think? Should I give her this or my messed up beach picture? I could give her both. That's a great idea. I will, I will wrap both of these up and give her both. And you know, if I put Tammy Wynette on my angry camel like this, and took those Tipper Sealy brochures and wrapped it. She'd never guess in a million years what it was. Just wrap it like that. You're helping me already. You've been such a good helper. I really appreciate it. Oh, my boss is coming. I better, I better put these away. She told me to quit bringing my painting out. She said it was scaring the customers away. 
Well, yeah, I, I, I don't expect an answer today, but if you, if you think it over and you decide that uh, a trip to the farmer's market or maybe the flea market, if you want to get to know me better without mother, you can always come with me to the flea market. Like I say, she won't go because of the beanie baby man. We could have a little privacy, you know, amongst all the people shopping for bargains. And I'll be more than happy to have you on my arm as we stroll through the booths at the flea market or the farmer's market or both. If you go with me to the farmer's market, the guy at the peach ice cream stand owes me an ice cream cone because I helped him with his drop cord one time and he said he'd give me a free one. And uh, I can get one for you if you're interested. Um, I know a lot about dating on a budget because I'm kind of on one all the time. But I would be more than happy to take you out. I have coupons to the best fast food restaurants all over town. And, and a lot of them are close to expiring. And I sure would like to get good use out of them before they do. So think it over. I have a lot to offer. And I will be right here. So uh, I really hope to see you come back in. And maybe we'll talk some more about comfy beds.